Hey everybody, it's Nintendo Dragon Gamer. Welcome back to more Let's Play Sonic 3D Blast. In the last part, we went through Diamond Dust Zone, and now we're going to go through Volcano Valley. Now, when I look at everything in the background, it makes me think that, like, um, a meteor struck, and it, it makes me imagine that a meteor struck and the dinosaurs went extinct. It's like, this music makes me, when I hear Volcano Valley, I think of dinosaurs. I know that seems weird, but it's the truth. Anyways, this level is a lot harder than Diamond Dust, to be honest. I mean, I know earlier you had ice spray at you, now you're gonna have lava. Now, those Sonic heads, if you get a, if you get a number of them, a certain number of them, you will get a continue. And most of the time, when I'm playing this game, I get only one continue out of it. And um. Alright, there's an invincibility. I'm probably gonna go grab it. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go on the spring. Yeah, invincibility is really gonna be a huge help in the process. I highly recommend you get it. I mean, you can challenge yourself, but it's just gonna make life a lot harder for yourself. If you really are trying to get through the game, I'd recommend you use it. Yes, and those things can just make you nuts, trust me. If you get hit by fire getting sprayed at you, and it's between like a lava river or something, you're pretty much screwed, because you have to get the flickies, and you have to proceed to the next part of the act. But, you can't proceed to the next part of the act, because you need all five of them. That's the only, I think that's like the only criticism I have, but... We'll do, I'll do that when I do a video game review on all the Sonic games. I do promise to do a, I do promise to do a, um, video game review of all the Sonic games. I'll probably put them, split them into parts. Yeah, here's really annoying. I, I almost died. Uh, anyways, the, 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 the thing is, um, thing is the Sonic the Sonic series review is going to be um, is going to be a challenge a tiny bit of a challenge for me since um, um, I would try to make it professional but since I'm only using one camera it's going to maybe be a little bit difficult. I'm probably going to be post-commentating it because it'll make life a lot easier for me. I'll probably review, like, if, if I was reviewing a Sonic game, I'll review Sonic's 1, 2, and 3, and Knuckles, and Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, and one, Sonic 1, 2, and 3, and Knuckles in 3D Blast, which is the Genesis. And then after that, I review Sonic Advance 1, 2, and 3, and then, and then I'd be reviewing Sonic the Hedgehog 4. I would review Sonic Rush, but to be honest, I never beat Sonic Rush, so I don't, all the criticism I have for Sonic Rush is it's a cheap, they have a very cheap final boss, and I just don't like Sonic Rush. I mean, it's a good game, you can get through most of it, you can get probably through 90% of the game, but you can still die, which me to be honest, it it just sucks. And they they just really have lost their touch in getting chaos on world to these days now. They the the game designers have made it so hard. Even in this game, they've made it really hard. Yeah, and I got hit by lava again. Just a small little square. I just get hit by it. Give me this stinking flicky already. Oh, come on. You serious? You serious? Alright. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I would recommend you go the other way. I would recommend you go the other way. I don't even know where I'm going. Because this is pre-recorded. This game is pre-recorded, so I don't remember exactly what... Yeah, I died. That's great. That's great. Well, it's actually not that far away, so might as well try again. Hopefully I won't go through the same thing that happened to me before, which is over here. Again. Wow, I'm just... I'm, I'm failing miserably right now, and it's not good. Not good at all. Yes, and... Who in the heck side? Who in the heck side? Whose idea was it to put a stupid? I just have a question here. Who in the hell's idea was it to put a stinking enemy in front of fire sprayers? I mean, seriously. I know this game is supposed to be a challenge, but seriously, if you make it too hard, then there's no point in playing the game. I mean. This, this is my favorite Sonic game of all time. My favorite, my, I, it's either my first or my second favorite. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles is my, is my, is, is my favorite. But this one is my second favorite. Yeah, I go up here. You have to get on top of it and you have to do a spin dash, and then it'll rise up. It's just like in Lava Reef Zone of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, where you have to um spin dash. It's, it's technically the same exact thing. It looks like we're going to go through another ring. Uh, yep, there we go. And I think the next, next, yeah, here, right here is very similar to what you're going to be seeing in the second act. Except, I mean, the layout will look very similar, but not exact. But at least you don't have any flickies in this part, because if you do... You're most likely gonna die just trying to get the flickies back. And over here, I do believe right in the middle will be a pipe. Not like a Mario, but you're gonna get sucked in and you'll find a fire shield, which will really come in handy. I would really, I would recommend you get it. I mean, there are a lot of area, there are a lot of, I guess, quote unquote, secret areas. I'm not even sure if I'm. I don't really know if I'm saying this correctly or not, but you just walk right through, but I decide to jump just for the fun of it, but losing the fire shield would be catastrophic to to um your environment. What I mean by that is is that you're very limited and you are and you're having a hard, and you would have a harder time trying to get through the game of this level in general. And there is a shoe. It makes you go supersonic, but not like supersonic like you would have, like, um... Not like... Not like when you have, um... All seven chaos symbols. There's a difference. God. You know, imagine if I didn't even have a fire shield, I would lose my flickies in the process. I mean, really. I would lose the flickies. Okay, so get that enemy. Uh, yep, that's it. On to Act 2. And how long? Let's see how long it took. 5 minutes and 21 seconds. Okay, here's Act 2. Now it's going to be a little bit difficult. Here, if you have zero rings, if you go to the left over there, you're going to lose your rings. Better yet, you'll have zero, and you could die. You could die in a, just in a few seconds. So I'd go to the right first, and then go over here to get the fire shield. It would be very... It'd be very bad if you just kept dying all the time. And then, you're, and then you would ask yourself, why am, I, why am I dying? And then you're going to say, I keep going to left. Let's go to the right. Okay, so here are some more enemies. You got to... You gotta hit this one and get the blue flicky. Really, over there is just all about timing, but there's a free Sonic hat if you don't have all five of the flickies and you have to go into a spring. So walk right through there, and I'm showing you right now. If you, you have to walk, you have to stand on that. If you do not have the fire shield, you have to stand on that platform in order to cross. Or you could just be... You can just, um, 
be a daredevil and just run right across and just jump, but I'm willing to bet you probably won't survive, but that's just from my observation. I mean, I'm, well, right here, you could find another ten rings. What I was saying is, is that you, it's just the things, the things I'm saying are actually recommended and great, I just lost my shield. How terrific. I wonder if I even get a hundred rings in this, um, act. <sighs> I don't know why I'm yawning. Alright, get those. Thank you. I wouldn't risk going over there, right where, right where I just passed. I'm not going over there. Because I'm willing to bet I, I would find nothing but lava in so, nope, there's nothing there. Time. It is time to head to the second part of the sack. See, you see that formation right there? It looks very similar, like right here. The design, the design right here looks very similar to what you saw in Act One, and I just died. How ironic. I wouldn't, maybe call, I wouldn't call it ironic, but I would find that a coincidence. I don't know what to describe anymore. Seriously, just... Dude! Am I this stupid Sonic? Just go! Wow, I'm that horrible, am I? That's sad. And just to make a reference, since I'm learning stuff in school that has to do with design, this game is actually being played in isometric, um, it's in an isometric point of view. Because, as you can very well see, all, all of it is just like this. Isometric is, th is, a, is, a, is technically 3D. But, to Super Mario 64, 3D is a lot different. Sega was limited to what they can do, I guess. So, I guess I make my point clear. But, hey, isometric, I have to say, was perfect for this, perfect for this game. Because, if you did it a lot differently, like you did it like Super Mario 64, there would be a whole entire different scenario going on. And I'm sure that if Sega was able to get their hands on the same type of quality as Super Mario 64, I'm very sure that their game, their game design would probably be a step up. But, this is 1996. Plus, this is the time where they were losing, Sonic was losing interest. I think I put these flickies in here just so that I don't lose them. So I just gotta find the other three. Yes, and over there is just more lava. Lava this, lava that. Why do they call it Volcano Valley in the first place? You know? Why do they call it Volcano Valley then? Nothing is over here, trust me, there's nothing. Get an extra ten, but I'm not gonna get a hundred. That's for sure. Okay, I guess I just come up here and I just put those cookies in the rain so that I don't lose them. There you go. Alright. We just need just a few more. So heading Heading to the left. Wow, I lost my rings again. Woohoo! Yeah, I lost my rings again. Yet, as long as you have, as the still the rule is, as long as you have one ring, you will still survive. 
Alright, so it's on to the fifth boss. And trust me, the boss is hell. And you'll understand what I mean by hell when you see it. Here we go. Alright, basically what you're really supposed to do is you're supposed to go onto the pipes. Those, or lava, or onto those pipelines. But really, the game designers didn't consider trying to make it any easier. And trust me, like there, you have to be very careful. One slight misstep and you lose. I mean, I've seen somebody on YouTube videotape this, and it only took him like 23 seconds. And trust me, I got it done in 23 seconds. And I die because of that stupid lava snake. Okay, attempt number two. See if I can do that and make life a lot easier because of the because of the lava. The lava the fire snake, whatever you call it, it'll kill you. So you gotta and right there, I screwed up. And I die again. Third time's the charm. Let's see if I can do it. Heck, can I go through? Seriously. Okay. Here. Okay, that's it. So next time, we are gonna go to Gene Gadget. So goodbye. <laughs>